Alright guys, so for this video we're going to be servicing a 99 Dodge Ram. It's a 2500, 5.9 Cummins, automatic. And we're going to just do a basic transmission service. Uh, we're going to do Mopar filter and then a Mag High Tech uh, transmission pan. And the reason for this pan is one, uh, I'm adding a sensor for the transmission. And then two, the drain plug because I'm going to do annual drains on it. So the tools needed for this um after you already have the filter the gasket and then the pan is obviously going to be around six quarts automatic transmission fluid atf4 um, for the tools you're going to need a t25 and this is to remove the transmission filter and replace it and then a 13 millimeter for removing the pan um, as far as putting the new pan on you're going to need a torque wrench to torque it down and then other than that, it's just basic ratchet with extension. As I said before, this isn't really a, like a problem or anything like that. We're not changing out because we're having problems. It shifts great. It drives good. It's just time to do maintenance. And one of the reasons I do maintenance on it uh, annually is because I'm towing this camper. Uh, this camper's 37 feet and right around 9,700 pounds fully loaded. And then, uh, so it's 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 a strain a little bit on the on the dodge it pulls it well but i try to keep everything serviced and and ready to go so like i said just doing the pan and then the differentials oil just the basic maintenance is something i try to do every year oil of course is probably six months because of mileage but as far as differentials and, and transmission i try to do that every year so the first thing you're going to do when you're servicing your transmission is going to be remove the bolts around so like i said these are a 13 millimeter uh due to the fact that it doesn't have a drain plug you're actually going to have to leave two bolts on and kind of tilt the pan and drain as much as you can out after you remove all your bolts minus two a lot of fluid is going to start uh, start pouring out so you're going to have to back away and try to catch as good as you can in the drain pan um, it's better if you have like a bigger a bigger drain pan like a large one but you're gonna let it drain as much as you can because when you pull out the last two bolts, you're gonna have to hold it and then stabilize it because the pan's gonna be completely full. All right, so once you have the pan off, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and inspect it. Just see uh, what kind of metal shavings you have in there. There's a little bit in here, some on the magnet. It's all pretty normal. Um, that's actually not too much considering uh, this is probably about 50,000 miles. Um, the original pan gasket is reusable if you want to use it, but uh, the Mag High Tech pan actually comes with a new one. So the next step now is going to be removing the old transmission filter and replacing it with the OEM with the new OEM one. All right, so underneath this is what your transmission is going to look like with the pan off. Um, this is going to be your filter, and then these are going to be your two holes where the the Torx 25 goes. And as you see from draining it, we got a little bit over six quarts out. So that's about how much we're gonna put back in. And then, yeah, so we'll put the new one on. All right, so after you remove the old filter, you're gonna put the two bolts back in and make sure it's tightened. Uh, there is a torque spec for it. I think it's like 12 inch pounds, um, but you just wanna make sure the filter's snug and not over tighten. Uh, my torque wrench only goes down to 100 inch pounds. So, like I said, I just had to put it on there snug. The next step is gonna be to uh, wipe down around the pan. So when you put the, the new pan on with the new gasket, you have a fresh, clean seal. All right, so now the new uh, Mag High Tech pan is on. As you can see, it comes with all the hardware. To bolt the pan up, you're gonna wanna torque those in steps, um, 12, 14, and then 16 and you're gonna to, going to wanna to do a crisscross pattern. Um, in the instructions, it also says that you wanna take this out, the drain plug, and lube the, the little O-ring on there. So I lubed it with some ATF and then put it back in, tightened it up with two fingers, which is what's recommended. So now we're gonna fill it up without starting it until we can read it on the dipstick. All right, so now it's time to fill the transmission back up. 
So the dipstick is located in the passenger side back. You'll see it, it's actually labeled trans fluid. So you're just gonna pull it out, set it off to the side, and you're gonna put a funnel, a longer one, down in it. Uh, from here, you're gonna start off with four quarts. And then after four quarts, you're gonna measure the dipstick still without starting it. And then if you need to add, you keep adding until you're halfway up the dipstick, uh, according to the hash marks. All right, so after you added the ATF, and you can read it on the, the hash marks on the dipstick, you're gonna start up the vehicle, and you're actually gonna run it through a couple gears. So we're gonna start it up, and then run it through reverse, drive, neutral, Start the vehicle. We're actually going to put it in reverse, neutral, drive. Two, one. Then we're going to cycle it back through. And now, when you check the fluid. Transmission has to be in neutral, so set your parking brake. And then check the dipstick. All right, so the transmission is all done. We just finished up a couple test drives and the gauge is actually hooked up to the pan. Um, one thing to note about the deep pan is this is a 99 model. So in the instructions, it actually says if it's before 99, it's about a quart and a half more for the deep pan. And then for the 99 and up, it's about half a quart. Uh, that's pretty accurate. To fill it up, it took about six and three quarters to fill it up. And that was that was triple checking it, driving it, highway driving, letting it get up to operating temp. Um, so far, I can't really tell if it ran any cooler. Um, I'll really know that once I hook the trailer up to it. But uh, as of now, I, I do like it. I mean, no leaks so far. It's a, it's a nice pan. It's a shame you can't see it. Um, but as I said, this is just part of our annual maintenance. Um, and then every six months to a year, depending on how much mileage we put on this, then uh, we'll do like a drain and fill. And then every so often we'll pull the pan off and do a filter. Thanks for watching.